Hispaniola Island, or also called Hood. This is a very special island because we're gonna see a lot of really special animals. So this island, by being the southernmost of the Galapagos, is the first one that receives the humble current. And so this makes it very special. So all the animals that we find here are slightly different or also they will be just in larger quantities. There's, uh, there's a really nice group of iguanas here. Every island we have different iguanas, even though they're the same species. The fact that they swim from one island to another, it means that we have them on every one of the Galapagos Islands. And so the Española or Hood marine iguana is the most colorful one that we have. Now these iguanas have a bit of red on their bodies and this we don't know exactly the reason or where it comes from, but we think it might be because uh, the water that is around here has more nutrients. Because of their different environment that they live on, these marine iguanas, they have changed their habits from the land iguanas. And they had to become social in a way that at night, they can stay all together, one on top of each other to keep from losing too much heat. So this is one of the really special sightings that we have on the Galapagos. The waved albatross is a very unique species. And it's very unique because not only we find it only in the Galapagos Islands, but really only on Española Island. Nowhere else in the world this species of albatross will ever touch land. And so the total population of these species about 12,000 couples. And uh, really what is uh, interesting about them is that they go away and they abandon the island for a few months a year and they always come back at the beginning of April. They, as soon as they arrive, they start mating. And what is really fascinating is that there's no courtship before the mating. But this courtship is because they don't have time. So what they do is that they're gonna leave the courtship for the end of the season then the parents are gonna have quite a bit of time for themselves and there's gonna be a really nice elaborate courtship, which is quite unique. You have these two birds facing each other and kind of sword fighting, you know, with the beaks, just kind of clapping their beaks and like shaking them around and like going up and down, like really very elaborate dance. Ah! 